Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Daphne from Crafty Dust and if you're new to my channel, I post brand new home decor and DIY content every week. So do consider subscribing if that's something you like. So today I have another IKEA hacks video for you. This time I have two very simple and super easy IKEA hacks. Both of them are a no-brainer and can be done in a day. And all the tools you need for these projects are a pair of scissors, a glue gun or just glue, and a cutter. So tools that anyone has at home, but in case you don't, I will link everything in the description box down below. So for our first IKEA hack, I will be using the Fnis waste bin. It cost me two euros and 49 cents. So let's go ahead and see what I create with it. This project is super simple. I just took a 10 millimeter rope and wrapped it around the bin. I only hot glued the rope on the bottom and top section of the bin. And I also added some hot glue where the rope ends to secure the trimmings. Cord, so I cut a cord of about 15 to 20 centimeters and placed it on a pack of post-its. You could also use your phone or a coaster or anything with that shape and wrap some cord around it 10 times. removed the post-its and made another knot to secure it. Next, I placed it on another piece of cord of about 15 to 20 centimeters, about a third down from my pom-pom stop section, secured it with a double knot and cut the excess. and finally I untwined the plies and brushed them with a hairbrush to make my pom-pom fluffy. And there you have a cute little pom-pom. So I repeated that process eight more times and then I placed all the pom-poms on a long string evenly spaced out and secured them with a double knot. pom-poms around the bin and used some hot glue to secure it. and make sure to tie the knot at the back of the bin where the end of your rope is. And there you have a cute boho plant pot.
final project I am using the Amelinari basket I am totally mispronouncing that I found it at the discount section for 50% off and I think it's so so pretty so I started off by flipping the basket over and then I took the cord kit I am using the hammer cord and placed it on the top section where the light bulb actually screws in on top traced around it on the bottom side of the basket and used a cutter to cut a whole shape the bottom of this particular basket is very hard so definitely take your time with it it took me a minute or two to cut the section and then i tucked the cord kit inside the hole and at that point you can screw on the little attachment that makes it stay in place as well as the light bulb but i'm doing that a little bit later on when i hung it up on the ceiling and that completes our final project These are my IKEA hacks. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know which one your favorite was in the comment section down below. I think I am biased. I honestly don't know which one to pick. Probably the basket. I love the idea of turning a basket into a pendant light. I've always wanted to do that and I think it came out very pretty and it really suits the rest of my bedroom decor and just brings everything together. So if you liked today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more home decor and DIY content and also click on that notification bell to get notified whenever a new video comes out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!